Hello. Fishing CNY has teamed up with Douglas Outdoors and Cortland Line Company, a hundred year old company, Cortland Line in Cortland, New York, to help dispel some of the myths and confusion surrounding the selection of a proper fly line given the particular fly rod. There seems to be a lot of misinformation out there these days. We've also produced about a seven minute video on the joys of fishing a well-balanced, matched outfit in what we consider to be a most intimate setting. Stick around and learn how you can also receive a Cortland Silk 444 fly line free of charge, a $60 value. Thanks a lot. I'm Al Dare. You know, uh, back in the old days, when I say old days, back in the 1950s, you could walk into Mickey's Bait and Tackle Shop and look at the fly rod rack, and here's what you would see an example of, this being a Shakespeare wonder rod. Glass. Glass was the thing back then. And names like Hedden, Conlon, Shakespeare, South Bend, they all produced glass rods in the late 40s and the early 1950s. Eventually those rods would replace the trusty bamboo rods of the day. And, you know, they were heavy, of course, and they were willowy and stuff, but they lasted for about 20 years in terms of popularity. And then it was around 1972 that the British aerospace industry brought us graphite. And today, graphite in combinations of other materials, nano resins and such, represent the majority of fly rods that are being produced. What we're seeing is a return, though, to some of the glass rods, some of the softer actions. The reason being small water, like this, for example. And if you have a small glass rod or a small combination glass graphite rod, and I'm talking seven foot, six and a half foot, you know, eight foot, maybe no more than eight foot, you can get in there and present your fly with precision. It's a very, very precise game. It's a very game that's based on adequate presentation procedure and stealth. One of the finest rods to come along for that purpose is the Douglas Outdoors Upstream Rod. I happen to be holding one right now. It's an eight foot three inch designed for a three weight. And boy, is it a joy to use, especially when you're doing the up close stuff. You know, when it comes to the series of upstream rods by Douglas Outdoors. There are eight models to choose from. Again, this happens to be the eight foot three inch designed for a three way. But the aesthetics and the detail that this rod embraces is what I consider one of the finest small stream trout rods. It has a modified Wells handle, the sliding band reel seat, which to me, all cork is for some reason is just important. Uh, it's a wonderful matte finish Tonkin cane with clear wraps and the nickel silver, black nickel silver guides are certainly reminiscent of an era gone by. I think of bamboo when I look at this. Um, it's proprietary graphite. It's got a lifetime warranty. And this thing is really something. It's a jewel. Now they come in eight different models. You can have two-piece, four-piece, and six-piece versions. Anywhere from six and a half feet all the way to eight foot, eight inches, I believe. So, yes, this is one fine piece of equipment. You know, so many rods today that are being touted as presentation rods by some of the manufacturers that are out there are clubs. They're stiff. They're lifeless. They have to be overlined. You take one of their four weights, you got to put a five weight on the darn thing just to get it to bend. I'll tell you, it's really important that when selecting a rod, and just as important when selecting a fly line, that you find the proper fly line to match the rod that's designated. And it's really nice to know that a company, when they put three weight on a rod, it's a three weight. When they put four weight on a rod, it's a four weight. 
but then the line companies start overcompensating for some of these manufacturers and start selling four weights that are actually five weights. So the AFMA standards have been thrown out the window. There's so many different tapers available to you now, it's very, very confusing when selecting a fly line. I urge you to read Ed Jaworski's article in the spring issue of Fly Fisherman magazine. He wrote a, an amazing article on fly lines and where the industry stands today when it comes to fly lines. Um, the thing I like about the Douglas rod, again, it's accurately described. When it says three weight, it's a three weight. You put a three weight fly line on it, it's going to work with a three weight fly line. I happen to like this particular line. It's a Cortland 444 silk. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little while. Okay. You know, throughout this uh, presentation, we talked a lot about the Douglas upstream rod being a beautiful thing when it comes to up close and personal. That is casting short, casting delicately to trout that are very, very close in small quarters. But let me tell you, this proprietary grade of graphite here is capable of not only doing the close enough, you know, up front thing, but it's also capable of going far. The particular piece of water that I'm on right now is at least 30 yards wide, and I can easily reach the other shoreline with this rock. No problem whatsoever. But selecting the proper line has a great deal to do with that as well. In this case, we're looking at a double taper silk fly line made by the Cortland Line Company and leave it to a line company that's over a hundred years old to come up with an idea like this and a product like this. This line is so supple and so thin in diameter and behaves so wonderfully on rods of this demeanor that it is for me the line of choice. I love this Cortland 444 silk fly line and the double taper configuration for this particular series of rods. Just a word, folks. I'm wearing a pen here, and it says uh, Project Healing Waters on it. And I just want to say a little bit about that organization and what it represents. Fly fishing can be a very healing experience, and we're finding that our veterans find that to be a great deal of solace. And we support Project Healing Waters, and we urge you to do the research necessary maybe you want to be able to support that organization. Another organization that I've done work with over the years is Casting for Recovery. Again, fly fishing being the healing experience that it is. Women survivors of breast cancer find fly fishing extremely therapeutic. So go and find out what Casting for Recovery and Project Healing Waters are all about. Thank you. Thanks for being with me here today on Chittenango Creek. It was a wonderful day. I'm actually going to get out there and tie some flies to the end of this baby and see what happens. Um, you know, we talked about the upstream series of rods and the importance of choosing the right line for this rod. And I want you to have that right line. When you purchase one of these rods, any of the eight models, or actually 11, we'll talk about that in a second. When you purchase any of these upstream rods from fishingcny.com, I'm going to send you that 444 silk fly line that's going to match that rod free of charge. And we'll pick the appropriate double taper for the upstream series of the eight models to choose uh, the right line for. Okay. So, but I also want to bring your attention to another introduction of recent. And that would have been or would be the upstream plus rod from Douglas Outdoors. Now this is a nine foot rod. It comes in three sizes, four, five, and six weight. And we're talking a little further distance, but yet with some great presentation ability. So it's a far and fine outfit. And check out this reel as well that they have, the Argus reel. It's a beauty. I love this reel. Um, cosmetically, it's the equal to its brother, the Upstream series, but it's a little faster it still has that beautiful action. It's kind of tip flex, you might say. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a club, yet it's it's not a uh, piece of spaghetti either. Okay, this baby will bang them out there. 
All right, and with this one, we're going to send you free of charge the weight forward silk fly line in the 444 series, either in the 4, 5, or 6 configuration. So thanks for being here with FishingCNY.com, and check out what DouglasOutdoors.com has to offer in their full line of rods and reels again. So so long, see you later.